Hello! Do you enjoy the previous video? Do you know what it is about? The video is about land pollution. So, what is land pollution? Land pollution is the deterioration or destruction of the Earth's land surfaces, often directly or indirectly as a result of man's activities and their misuse of land resources. Causes for land pollution First is agricultural sources. These include waste matter produced by crop, animal manure and farm residues. Second is mining sources. This includes piles of coal refuse and heaps of slag and underground debris. Iron and other chemicals such as copper, mercury and lead from mining practices leach into the soil, polluting it. Third, industrial sources. This include paints, chemicals, metals and aluminium plastic and so on that are produced in the process of manufacturing goods. Effects of land pollution 1. Ecosystem A polluted land will not be able to support the plants and animals that depend on it in keeping food chains intact. 2. Health There are many pollutants in soils that can be very harmful when exposed to humans over long periods. 3. Environment Landfills, littered communities, and places with dirty landscapes are generally not attractive to tourists and visitors. This means such communities usually miss out on the value and benefits of tourism and investment. Zambia Case Study It is an example of land pollution as it is about soil contamination. The causes are due to mining activities. The effects are prominent towards children. How to solve the issue? Depending on the extent and volume of soil contamination, it can be remedied by 1. Digging out the soil for treatment and disposal. 2. Containing it to prevent it from spreading by placing large plastic material over the affected area. 3. Treating the soil with some safe chemical to neutralize the contaminant. Other ways of solving land pollution. Proper waste disposal that focus on treating waste and dispersing it in the safest manner possible. Second, reduce waste, reuse thing and recycle thing. Reusing materials to reduce the need for harvesting of resources. Products that are not reusable can likely be recycled. Third, organic gardening can reduce the usage of pesticides and insecticides. Non-gardeners can help by buying organic food.